Get out of here. Oh, turn around. Turn, turn the. Turn, get. Good morning. Bright and early from here in Poway. I'm alongside one of my good friends. This is Sammy. If you guys have seen the Gareth Eats Los Angeles series, Sammy was there. We went to iconic food spots. Do you remember your favorite location from that video? Langers. Langers is the, the best spot from that video. But today, I'm coming up to a location that has been on my radar for a long period of time, and it's a barbecue joint. And this is probably my favorite thing to see when walking into a restaurant. That is a pile of wood. All right, let's go meet the team. Look at that beauty. I got wraps, I got our smoked beans up top here. I have more uh, brisket over here. Everything's looking really good today. <laughs> Guys, this is Dylan. Dylan's the man behind Hi the guys. scenes. And what kind of wood are we using? Uh, so we use a mix of white oak and coastal live oak or red. You got the fire going. The smokers are all filled with brisket and chicken just after 8 a.m. Oh man, the smell of wood and meats cooking. There's nothing like it. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> So we got a little bit of early bird service. Smoking Jays doesn't open until 11, so we're here early to get the first round of fresh meats. This is the man behind the smoke. This is Jason. Thank you, thank you. you give us the rundown on what we got here. So right here we have our trademark Smoking Jay. Here we have our pulled pork. And then the this, most audacious of them all. That so right there is the Cali J. Comes with our brisket, comes with that pork belly that we talked about earlier. It also comes with fries. Wow. And, uh, and it gets topped with uh, our slaw sauce and our homemade barbecue sauce. And then, give me the rundown on brisket. That is what made Smoke and Jay's what we are. And we smoked that for 14 to 16 hours with white red oak. Our brisket is some of the best you'll ever taste. And then, of course, a couple of accoutrements. That's our mac and cheese. Yeah. This right here is, I would say, one of the most beautiful succotash that you will ever see. That is gorgeous. Listen, as much as I'd like to talk to you, I'm done talking to you. <laughs> All right, we're diving in. I don't want you to see this violence. Hey, enjoy. <laughs> Thank you. Right, Pork belly, brisket, slaw. Slaw on a sandwich is one of my favorite things of all time. That pork belly, the crunch from the outside of that fried pork belly. Mmm. Oh my gosh, and the rub on the outside of the brisket. Mm. Brisket is so tender, yeah. still warm, and the coleslaw with the barbecue sauce, which isn't overpowering. It's very well balanced. All right, burrito. I want to see you get this burrito. I've kind of been dying to try this, it's so beautiful. Look at that guy. All right, burrito cheers. Cheers. Smoking Jays, California, brisket, pork belly, burrito. See, see ya. Mmm, so good, it's dripping deliciousness. Wow, Whoa. this is really good. I mean, this is a really good burrito. Whoa. The meat's just like succulent, tasty, flavorful, smoky. The slaw is tangy, crispy. The french fries, okay, they're not crispy, but they provide that kind of like... Oh yeah. ...goodness that you want. Uh-huh. It makes it very California. I'm eating way too much of this burrito. I know. Mac and cheese party. Five cheeses, shells. Mmm. I love the shells because it's like a mac and cheese cannoli. It's all the cheese is stuck inside of it. Oh, it's so good. And then, if you want to feel healthy. I want to feel healthy. That's great. Oh, mm. that is smoky. Very smoky. Beautiful edamame in there. Roasted to perfection with the peppers. And you cannot and will not and should not miss the brisket. The brisket. I'm just great A. Good quality. You see that pink fly in there? That's a sign of a good smoke. Hold on. Stay right there. Don't move. The barbecue sauce or what? Barbecue sauce. Yeah. All right. Yeah. And that's even really nice and not overpowering. You know how barbecue sauces that you just buy in the store are very syrupy? Yeah, sweet. And thick? I like a vinegar base or a yeah. little bit lighter in terms of thickness. That's very good. Can we just talk about Dylan for a sec? Dylan? Yeah. Like, the second we rolled up, he was just proud to be here. I feel like I always look for that in food. Like, are they excited to make the food? 
I love how he touches everything. He's not thinking of it from a robotic standpoint. He's not just curious about making sure the temperature is right. He's really looking for the bounce, looking uh, for the jiggle. He's in it. I love it. Oh, yeah. All right, on our way to our next location, and I want to take 60 seconds to say thank you to the sponsor of this video, and that is Factor. A lot of people ask me, like, how do I stay somewhat fit after eating ridiculous food all the time on these videos? And the truth is, I'm very obsessive with uh, my macro counting, so I count and, and monitor what goes into my body on a daily basis. One great way to make sure you are maintaining a healthy diet is with very easy meal prep delivery by Factor. By delivering fresh, never frozen, dietitian approved meals right to my doorstep, they have calorie smart meals with around or less than 550 calories per serving. If you're on the keto or vegetarian, they also have meals designed around those diets. My personal go-to are the Protein Plus meals with 30 grams of protein or more per serving. It's a great alternative to cooking and cleaning, especially during this busy season. I also love their smoothies and their juices, and I actually brought a couple of juices with us today for Sammy and I to cleanse our systems. And with that said, thank you so much to Factor for sponsoring this video, and now let's dive back into the barbecue. And thank you to Sammy for staying nice and level while I do my ad reads while we drive to the next location. Good work, Sammy. All right, here we go, next stop of the day. Are you ready for this? Yeah. This is Coop's Barbecue way out in Lemon Grove. Well, not too far, it's about a 25 minute drive from downtown, not, not even, about a 20 minute drive without traffic, but I can smell it already. It smells good. It smells really is good. Is it weird that I'm excited? <laughs> no, that's very good. Let's go inside and meet the team. Well, hello. Well, hello, how are you? I'm are you all I always. Oh always. my goodness. How's it going? Are you, you made it. I'm sorry, yeah. This is my father, Mr. Coop. Hey, how you doing? You're man? the man behind the grill, huh? How's it going? Great Brad to Cooper. meet you. This hey. is Sammy. Hey Here. Sammy, nice to meet you. We smelled it coming up the street, right, so I knew right. this was gonna be good. My Venus fly trap. Tell me everything. Show me the operation. Oh man, you know, we've been going at this for 13 years. October first was 13 years for us. Man, I love doing what I'm doing, and I still think that we're doing it the best. I got a brisket that we just took out about been about an hour it's resting waiting on you that's that's beautiful you want to taste that yeah, mm. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> look at that nice beautiful layer of fat too come on the flavor of this is really balanced and it makes like it's a, it's actually a little lighter than most brisket i've had but it makes me feel like i could eat more of it that's <laughs> <laughs> so good I love the barbecue sauce. Whoa. What's different about it? I always want to say vinegar, but it's not, it doesn't have the punch of a vinegar. It's really smooth, almost like chocolate <laughs> or something. And like a mole. You got like a, yeah, like what is a mole. That? This tastes more like a steak to me than, yeah. than a brisket. The flavor is on point. All right, we'll take it. Yeah. Right. <laughs> we were just in the kitchen eating. I We were going to sit down and have a, a traditional spread, right. but the truth is the best place to eat, Sammy just said it off camera, is we're just eating in the kitchen, trying everything. And Coop is working on the mac and cheese. All right, these are, oh, they're hot. They're hot. Give them a second. These are the pork ribs. What? Go for it. Oh, eat it? Is it gonna burn me? You have a chef's mouth. I'm a bitch when it comes to hot, real hot food. Mmm, that's delicious. Oh, man. That's all you need. It almost tastes like bacon, huh? Yeah. <laughs> really good fat content, great flavor. Oh, hot, straight out of the oven. I can't even call that an oven. The pit. Or smoker oven. That's, uh, give some respect, put some respect on the <laughs> pit's name. The oven is disrespectful. Like if I ate what I ate here right now, anywhere else, I would say I'm not gonna move for the rest of the day. I'm just gonna sit on my couch the rest of the day. But for some reason, I don't know if it's your guys' energy or if it's literally <laughs> the food, but I feel like I could go run a marathon right now. Oh, wow. Prove it. Chicken. Wow, char on the outside is absolutely perfect. It's got a great kick. Sausage taste test. Ooh, that's got a kick to it. Red beans and rice with sausage. Don't tell anybody, but the fastest way to my heart is barbecue sausage. There's just something so good about it. Cooper's about to make me a sandwich, so I really shouldn't keep eating this. All right, let's see what you got. This sandwich, I don't think none of you ever touch it. Mm. Oh. It's really good. 
Oh my god. I mean, you knew it was going to be hit with the butter brioche. Yeah. And then you have the sausage that comes in, which you can't miss on sausage. And then the brisket kind of like fills it out. When I took a bite, it just like melted in your mouth. It felt like yeah. I was like, you don't need to add anything. Yeah. Listen, cat. if you come here and it's not on the menu, you tell him Gareth sent you and want the Big Tech sandwich, tell Coop he's got to make it. <laughs> All right, this is the collard greens. Vegan collard greens, a little liquid smoke in there. This is just very light, bitter. If you're into bitter greens, like as you guys know, I very much am. This is a perfect cut to the meat. I got, now, I got mac and cheese. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> this is good. Okay, I'm going quick. Mmm. Wait. Yeah, what? That has some like umami, like yeah, earthiness. That's what I'm there is. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I will buy you a foot long of this sausage <laughs> if you can guess the secret ingredient here at Coop's and their mac and cheese. Last thing. Twice baked peach cobbler. So we keep it in the warmer because we like to serve it warm. That's like pudding. <laughs> it's like a warm hug. <laughs> all right. That's it. We can just stay back here with a spoon all day, but we yeah. have to keep moving. Yeah. I can't say this enough. Come check out Coop's. You will not be disappointed. It's worth the destination. Sammy? I feel like this spot has a true family heartbeat. And if you want to know and see the people that are actually making your food and feel connected to the mission and the vision behind your barbecue, Coop's it is. I don't know if you're going to get to eat in the kitchen and get spoon fed by Coop himself, but pretty damn close. Pretty damn close. Hey, Coop, I appreciate you. Thank you. Yeah, Keep yeah. up the good work. Hey, you guys, you, great work. <laughs> great work. Thank you. All right, here we go. Our third location of the day, and this is the Grand Old Barbecue. How are you feeling, young lady? I have the meat sweats, but I'm ready. <laughs> you got time for one more? One more. You got ready. room for one more? Barely, but yes. This already coming up to it, was it's a very cool location. All wood, looks like a cabin out in the middle of nowhere. You got some mountains in the background. It's, looks like a very authentic spot. There's also a second Grand Old Barbecue location in North Park, which is the original, but we came out here because I'm told there's a smokehouse that I want to check out before we dive in. Ooh, look at that sign. It says, here you leave today and enter the world of yesterday, tomorrow, and fantasy. All right, let's go get into some fantasy barbecue. Come on. What's the story of this this location? It was the old cowboy bar back in the day. It was uh, almost like Roadhouse. A lot uh -huh. of fights and craziness on the weekends. It was a nightclub, Friday, Saturdays on the, on the weekends, and the you know the Flipville East County fighters were here. So <laughs> and now Andy turned over to a, a kid friendly barbecue spot. And Andy, you said yes. It was a it was a pretty intense place. Like I said, it was the last time I got swung on <laughs> when I was probably in my early thirties, late twenties. And you were like, I, I got swung on, I gotta buy it? <laughs> and so we got the location and turned it into a family joint. The bikers were pissed when they finally left. That works. Yeah. That works. Okay, we shouldn't be hungry at all. But when I see it, <laughs> I wanna eat it. This spread is ridiculous. Uh, we got pork ribs, we got beef ribs, we got tri tip, pulled pork, uh, cheesy beans, potato salad, coleslaw, spicy coleslaw. Mac and cheese with smoked Gouda. Why not? Take a Ooh, string. Okay. Mm. They were shredding up fresh okay. smoked Gouda in the back, and they have these massive tubs for each of the mac and cheese. Which I do love that they hand shred it. I mean, yeah. it's a machine, but it's still better. No, yeah, it's you're still putting it through. And one of my all time favorites, you gotta have. All right, we're just going. This looks like a sweet We're going pickle. rogue. You won't put pulled pork on a pickle and dip it in hot sauce. Drop it off. Oh yeah. Oh, okay. The brisket here has this incredible crust on the outside. Cheers. And holy cow, the fat mm. layer. That might be the, the best brisket we've had. The fattiest brisket for sure, which is the mouth-watering juiciness mm. of that brisket is incredible. Brisket. I like the brisket. Check. Best brisket I had in San Diego. Am I allowed to say that? Wow. Yeah, you can say that. Yeah. Okay. You choose one, I'll choose something different. I know what I'm going for. I'm going for it. Was that you? You're going Doug Zach No matter that. what I went for, you were going to say that. Just no. To be controversial. I was going for it because I love a good sausage. I'm dipping right. in the mustard. What are you doing? I was going to dip in the sausage. Mm. 
the snap. The snap on that skin. I love the mushroom. Oh no. No, no. What? What's the name of this burger? It's a grand old burger. That <laughs> what's in it? It's just like hot and fresh right now. It's grilled it. and raw onions, ketchup, mustard, mayo, pickles, cheese. Double patty smash what? burger. Yeah. This is this is absurd. <laughs> Speechless. Wow. That should be that should be in my top five burgers. Yeah, why wasn't it? Oh, you didn't do it yet? Can I come with you? She doesn't watch any of my videos. For those of you who already know, I'll put the link right here. Top five burgers in San Diego. But this very well should be on it. I, I gotta take another bite. I did. And, I, and everything is telling me no. Except <laughs> my body. My body is telling me yes. Can you pass me a napkin? Oh, Lord. <laughs> You're doing a napkin. Right, what's next? I'm gonna go smoked turkey. Next. I have a really good turkey. Oh, turkey's bomb. Yeah. We'll be the I'll judge take half of that. Of that. Oh. You're gonna love it. Alright, so a secret weapon that they used is they poured on the hot turkey gravy over the top of the turkey before they served it to us because turkey, especially out in the open, it can get kind of dry. Alright, let's try this tri-tip for the Californians Whoa. out there. I don't... You don't like tri-tip, but you're going to try the tri-tip. I don't not like it, but it wouldn't be my first cut, but I know you go to all the barbecues here in San Diego since moving here a few years ago and it's like tri-tip this, tri-tip that. Sure. And to me, that's like a, a thick cut roast beef, mm -hmm. which great on sandwiches, really good sandwiches, but. It is similar. Would it be my first choice? No. Camera's going off. We're gonna eat. The boys are starting to fill up this place. All the hardworking men oh, yeah. that come out here, and we're just sitting here filming ourselves eat barbecue. But you know what? There's, there's respect in that, too. For those guys watching that are hard labor, Please. blue collar guys. I salute you. I'll keep making these food videos so you guys keep knowing where to go for lunch. One thing I've honestly learned from this barbecue crawl is that you see a place and you have this preconceived notion and then you hear their story and how it started and yeah. the heart that they put in it and how long they've been doing it and it just changes the way the food tastes. It just It's meaningful once you get to talk to them. So if you are eating at a restaurant, I do encourage you to talk to the people that are working there because you could get to know something that will change your perspective. Was that insightful? <laughs> that was very, very insightful. Also, along with that same lines, it's okay if you want to order the smoked turkey. Don't let anyone judge you. You know, you come here, and you're, they're gonna tell you get the brisket, they're gonna tell you get the, the beef ribs, but damn it, if you want the smoked turkey. It is so good. You can have it. Go get that smoked turkey. Gareth ate all of it, and there's none left for me. <laughs> he went too much of the smoked turkey. <laughs> it's really good. Oh, cream just like that. That does it for our wild day of barbecue. Three must try joints here around San Diego, not necessarily right in town. You gotta take a little drive, but it's well worth it. Superlatives, what do you got? Superlatives. Best burrito smoking jays, best chicken, best sausages, coops, uh -huh. best turkey, best brisket in my opinion, humble opinion, grand old barbecue. Best feng shui and vibe, grand old barbecue. Yeah, for me, Smoking Jays has the burrito and sandwich game on lock. The collard greens, the mac and cheese, the sweets, the chicken for sure. I like the brisket over at Coop's, all of those things. I love Coop's. Uh, and then here at Grand Old Barbecue, smoked turkey, pickles, uh, brisket, pulled pork. Burger. The, the burger was insane. <whistles> Unreal. All right, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already for more great food content from here in San Diego and around the world. Sammy, where can they find you? at Wholesam on social media, wholesam.com, and in your home for next time you need a private chef. See you guys. Something about the stone and the wood makes me feel like we're about to eat good barbecue. I like Hope that. Hope I'm not wrong. <laughs> Look at that. Here. Never mind. It's locked. <laughs> we got a knock on the door. Sexy walk. <laughs> Work it. Thank you so much. And if you need anything, like I said, 
just let me know. All right. And I can't think of a lot of things. I'm trying to think of. What? <laughs> Jamie, how do you feel? You getting excited? This is. I want to FaceTime my dad. <laughs> Should we? Yeah, let's FaceTime. Look at this. Oh, yeah. I'm going to try the potato one. salad. I haven't tried the coleslaw. Oh, That's good. I love a coleslaw Classic. that isn't too mayonnaise y. And I really respect and honor that coleslaw. Yeah. No, send it. No, you get out of here. Oh, what? <laughs> a Texas, California brisket burrito. I mean, I love I you. I just got a little nervous. It's, it's a love hate relationship with Andy, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And you are an absolute mess. Get a grip <laughs> over there. Animal. <laughs> She's an animal. <laughs> All right. This is, tell me again, this is the barbecue beef brisket California, California <laughs> barbecue beef. That's called the bull, grand old Austin, California burrito. Austin, Austin California, California burrito. burrito. Oh, that's all right. Oh, dude, I watch you. Oh, thanks, man. That's what I told her. Yeah. <laughs> hey, yeah, man. yeah, yeah, so yeah. Good. I appreciate I you, dude. Thanks, I'm man. Gonna, yeah. Watch. Actually, my my mom's watches you. That's why <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take the mom's watching. I'm like the Mother Teresa of food vlogs. Yeah, honestly, Gareth, get this on camera, he's really popular here. Every single worker here has watched his videos and even their moms watch his videos. And honestly, it kind of made me feel cool. Like, I'm with a celebrity right now. I am in the presence of an honorable man who is a celebrity. No doubt there. Leave all of this. <laughs> all right, that's a wrap.